Okay, so last week you had a lesson with the circle with Mr. Mario where we talked about that as the number of sides of a polygon increases, the more it starts to look like a circle. So today we are going to look a little more into the circle, okay? So I'm going to do this with the box of sticks material, but if you're at home, you can do this with anything, maybe a bowl or a cup, anything that is a circle. So, here I have my circle. You notice I used a stick and a pencil. Well, the point I pinned the stick to is called the center. So we have the center of our circle. Well, notice how I also used the same stick to go all the way around to make the circle. I didn't change the stick. So I have an equal distance from the center to this line, the center to this line, the center to this line. So this, and this path here that I traced to make the circle is called the circumference. And it is equidistant to the center. So I have the circumference. So we have the circumference this path here. Well, the distance from the center to the edge of the, the distance from the center to the circumference is called the radius. So this line from the center to the circumference is the radius. We have the radius. Well, is there only one radius? No. Any line segment from the center of the the center to the circumference can be a radius. So if we were to continue this line of the radius across the circle, I will touch another point on the circumference. I would then have a line that measured one radii and two radii. So this line is called the diameter. Bia comes from the Greek word, which means across, and metron is Greek for measurement. So this line across the circle, and that's the measure of two radius, is called the diameter. So we have the diameter. So if the radius is from the center to a point on the circumference, what is the relationship of the diameter and the radius? Well, the diameter is equal to two radii or one half of the diameter. So a line from one point to another point on the circumference is called a chord, a chord. So a line from one point to another on the circumference is called a chord. So we also have we have if you see is it, can this also be called a chord? 
Well, yeah, but it's a special type of chord because it goes through the center. But it's still a straight line that goes from one point on the circumference to another. So a diameter is a chord, but not all chords are diameters. Well, if you look at the diameter, it divides a circle into two equal parts. This one and this one. So each half is called a semicircle. So I'm going to go ahead and write that word for you. Semicircle. So this is a semicircle. And I'm going to go ahead and color it in. So here I have my semicircle. Well, the chord is not only, not only divides the circle into two parts, but also divides the circumference into two parts. So each part of the circumference is called an arc. So here I have an arc. Well, we also have a minor arc that is smaller than half the half the circumference. So a minor arc which would be from here to here, and it's smaller than this arc, which is the major arc. So we have this brown line that goes around that's also known as the major arc. So this whole line is the circumference, but this is the semi-circumference, because it's just a part of their circumference, or half to be exact. So then we have the semi-circumference. Semi-circumference, okay. Well, we can also have a line, or not a line. Well, yes, line, so the enclosed part of the circle that is cut by a cord. So the inside from, so the cord and the part of the circle that's inside is called a segment. It's a segment of the circle.
we have this segment, which is the inside of here. Then I'm going to move the rest of these to the side and we'll look at them a little later. We have one more piece. So if I drew a radius from the center to this part, to this point on the circumference, this enclosed space between two radii is known as a sector. This is a sector of our circle. So we have a sector. So now I have given you the parts of a circle. And that will be the title of our work. So let's go ahead and quickly review what we have. We have the center, which is the middle of the circle. We have the circumference, which is the curved line that makes up the whole circle. We have the radius, which is the point from the center to the circumference. Then we have the diameter, which is the line from one end of the circumference to the other, and it is equivalent to two radii. We have a chord, which is a line on the circumference to another point of the circumference. We have our segment, which is the space between the circumference and a chord. We also have an arc. We have a minor arc, which is less than half the circumference. So we have, which would be this, so the semi-circumference would also be considered a major arc. And we know that half of a circle is called a semicircle. And the space between two radii on a circle is called a sector. So there you have the parts of a circle. I would like for you to create your own circle and try to label the parts, make a booklet, describe, give definitions of which what each part is and what their role is with the circle. So that's all I have for now. Bye, coyotes.